having mentors within our organization at different times has been extraordinarily valuable. I think you need to make it a formal part of a program. Um, don't expect employees who are young, who don't know the organization, who don't know the boundaries, who don't know what they can ask for or what they can't ask for, to somehow go tap somebody on the shoulder and say, could I learn from you? Um, on the other hand, think about an the value to an employee outside of their little work unit where they're producing for their boss, but having them be able to work for another leader within the organization, how much it builds the employee, how much they learn, how much they grow from it. So I think they're great programs. We've had superb responses, uh, but the more they could be institutionalized, the better, rather than anecdotal and happening when somebody takes the initiative. How about you, Wendy? I can mention that um, long before I really thought or got anybody's advice about how important it would be in my early career to have mentors, one of the things that happened is I got pretty plugged in, first with one and then another and then with a third uh, professional association. And it just happened that I developed um, mostly male, but in one case a really amazing and almost unique woman leader in the organization who kind of just started mentoring me and the relationships all you know, happened organically. And, and then at some point along the way, I realized, oh, look, it's happening, and now it's my turn <laughs> to cycle around and give that back. So I guess in terms of, um, in terms of the value, uh, it, it, is, it is huge. I think that both being mentored and being a mentor brings all kinds of insights and networks and realizations that have you know, you know, tangible value. Um, plus, I just think it's the right thing to do. And it's yet another form of engagement, which in itself is just intrinsically motivating. And um, I think for, for those who are especially students or early, early career professionals, I would say go forth and go, about, go doing what you do with organizations or other affiliation type groups that you, you gravitate to. And then just try to look around and say, you know, where's the mentoring happening? And I, I encourage you to, to just feel what happens as opposed to going out to like interview mentors or try to do it with a with too systematic approach. But once you have the relationship that clicks, cultivate it, cherish it, and keep it going as long as it can possibly last. I love that answer. And uh, there's probably nothing more annoying to me than someone running up to me in the hallway with their blank piece of paper and pen and saying, Marcy, 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 will you please be my mentor? Because, you know, you, if you don't even know that person, um, I, I just sort of question the, the genuine um, nature of their, of, their, of their query and their requests. Instead, letting it happen, whether it's through organizations or what have you. We are actually fortunate enough to have a formal mentoring program at National Grid through our HR department or through some of our, our uh, Women in Power or... Uh, women in networks and different groups that we have. So uh, we do do that, and I've been both a mentor and a mentee, and it's definitely a two-way street. I will always tell uh, employees of, of any stage in their career, try to find someone to, uh, to have as a mentor. And it's not just because uh, your early career and you need to figure out how to navigate the organization, but throughout your career, uh, you end up, with questions and just you know things you want to bounce off of other people, so it's it is desperately important. I guess my advice to you um, is don't be the person who's a little bit too eager and runs up to someone in the hallway. <laughs> Find someone through a different means where you might already have a relationship, and then it, it will actually I agree with you. It will totally just happen. 